Georgia Senator John Ossoff spent some time in Northwest Georgia today, highlighting hundreds of new jobs coming to the area. Here's Dallas Payton with more on these new jobs. In less than a year, Q Sales, a solar manufacturing plant in Dalton, will have their second plant built right here next to their current one. This new plant will offer 470 new jobs. These are good paying jobs to serve the people of this community. Pay wages will range anywhere from $17 to $18 for entry level positions and up to $30 or even more for experienced workers. Georgia Senator John Ossoff says the new opportunity will allow the state of Georgia to continue to lead the way in renewable energy and high tech manufacturing. Dalton is world famous already for its long tradition in manufacturing being one of the world capitals of the carpet industry. And uh, we are seeing now new high-tech manufacturing coming to join that work uh, and continue to build opportunity in the community here. Scott Moskowitz with Q Sales is glad Senator Ossoff is on board with what they are doing in and for Northwest Georgia. We're the United States largest solar panel manufacturer and we're expanding to nearly double our U.S. capacity here in Dalton. It's going to bring the total manufacturing jobs on this site to over a thousand people. He says the solar industry is growing at a rapid pace and in most years have been the leading source in new energy added to the U.S. electricity grid. There is no shortage of demand for solar panels. It's a challenging industry, um, but it is one in which you know people are excited about it. We make products that people want that help to decarbonize energy, your energy supply, and are extremely cost effective. In general, these things are going to help people save money on their electricity bills. Senator Ossoff says his efforts won't stop here. I'm going to continue to attract manufacturing investment opportunity and jobs in all economic sectors to our state to increase opportunity and prosperity in North Georgia and statewide. In Dalton, Dallas Payton, Local 3 News.